In part six, chapter three of Crime and Punishment, Porfiry leaves and Raskolnikov hurries to talk to Svidrigailov. Raskolnikov is avoiding Sonia because she reminds him of his need to confess. He also worries that Svidrigailov will report him to the police, but he worries even more that he will use his knowledge of the crime to hurt Dunya. If he discovers Svidrigailov's intentions are bad, he can only think of one solution, to kill him. Suddenly, Raskolnikov mm. spots Svidrigailov in a tavern window, smoking a pipe. Svidrigailov seems to want to hide, but he instead invites Raskolnikov to join him. Svidrigailov's face is handsome, but almost too perfect, as if it's a mask. Raskolnikov tells him he will kill him if he hurts Dunya. Svidrigailov confesses to cheating at cards and having a passion for women, which Raskolnikov thinks is like a dangerous disease, but he wouldn't hurt Dunya. Svidrigailov somewhat agrees that he has a problem, but he would shoot himself without women, and he admits he's afraid of death. Raskolnikov feels Svidrigailov is the most worthless scoundrel on the face of the yeah. earth and starts to leave, but Svidrigailov offers to tell how Dunya tried to save him from himself. In Part 6, Chapter 4 of Crime and Punishment, Raskolnikov confronts Svidrigailov about the rumors mm. that he raped a 14-year-old deaf and mute girl who then committed suicide and that he killed his own wife. Svidrigailov dismisses them as mm. vulgar tales. Mm. Instead, he changes the subject. This evasion suggests there is truth to these rumors. Svidrigailov describes his marriage to Marfa Petrovna. He told her he could not be faithful. She allowed him to sleep with servants, but forbade him from having long-term affairs or falling in love, especially with a woman above that rank. Throughout their conversation, Svidrigailov proudly details his extensive, manipulative, and sordid womanizing. Svidrigailov was deeply attracted to Dunya, who resisted him. He kept his distance until she confronted him about raping a maid. But Svidrigailov <laughs> used this information to attempt to seduce Dunya, making her believe she could save him from his depraved ways. But Dunya saw through this and rejected him. Svidrigailov became desperate, offering her all his money and saying he would run away with her. He claims he was so smitten he would have killed his wife if Dunya had asked. His actions led to the events Raskolnikov's mother described in her letter to him in Part 1, Chapter 3. Raskolnikov asks Svidrigailov if he is still pursuing Dunya. He denies it, but Raskolnikov remains suspicious. As proof, Svidrigailov tells him of his recent engagement to a 15-year-old girl, which disgusts oh. Raskolnikov. He asks why Svidrigailov helped Katerina Ivanovna's children. To prove that his generosity is genuine, Svidrigailov mm. claims he also helps other young people. He is paying for a 13-year-old girl's education, for instance. But Raskolnikov feels Svidrigailov is planning to take advantage of her, too. Svidrigailov tells Raskolnikov he won't get away from him. They part, but Raskolnikov follows him. 